Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. It never goes unnoticed. Thank you for 18,000 plus subscribers. You guys are the best. And thank you to everyone that's always giving us stuff to react to. You guys are the best. I hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to Japanese scientists accepts Islam due to one Quran verse. Dr. Okuda. And yeah. If you want to have a conversation with us, feel free to follow us on Instagram, Fanny and Jesse, Facebook, Fanny and Jesse, and just enjoy the content that we put out on all our platforms. And yeah, so yeah, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Today we're going to talk about a renowned professor from Kia University in Japan, Dr. Rakuda. He's a great inspiration for the people of Japan, and his attitude sets him apart from everyone else. He talked about his interest in Islam in an Arabic interview and how he finally converted saying that it was the greatest gift from Allah, Alhamdulillah. Dr. Bakuda was in his sixth year of college when he began exploring Deen of Islam. It was in this year that he attended a lecture on Islamic legislation and developed a keen interest in it. However, at this point, he did not know much about Islam. He says he didn't even know how to approach people. That is because his life before Islam was one of arrogance and egocentrism. All of that changed when he began studying Islam thoroughly. His interest in Islamic legislation was only to the point where he would compare it to the other religious legislations and study it deeply. One day he came across a research paper with the ayah and indeed we created man from sounding clay of altered black smooth mud. 1526. It was only then when his entire perspective about life Humankind and Islam changed. This verse from the Holy Quran changed him from the core. He realized how he had been at fault all his life, treating people with arrogance when they were made from the same mud. It would be safe to say this ayah made him the humble man he is today. Having learned the secret to being a good man, Dr. Rakuda's heart was finally at peace. He felt better about himself and he could develop conversations and meaningful connections with people after all. Islam became his light of guidance even before he entered it. He then decided to go to Aleppo to learn Arabic and more about Islam. His teacher there was a very humble person and inspired Dr. Rakuda to become a Muslim. It happened on a hot summer afternoon. He was at the mosque with his teacher, going over several documentations. Suddenly, the Muslim called for prayer. Here in the Adhan, Dr. Rakuda became very uncomfortable and decided it was best to leave the mosque. He was not a Muslim after all. Why should I stay there when I'm not a Muslim? He wondered. However, this wasn't just a simple question. He pondered over it. The heat of the sun had sweat dripping down his face and he speculated if he was here learning about Islam and Arabic from a Syrian Muslim teacher why was he not a Muslim yet? With his mind racing with questions, he finally decided to convert to Islam. According to him, it was the greatest gift from Allah in his entire life. However, he did not announce his conversion to Islam. He did not know what to say. He wondered how he would handle being Japanese and a Muslim together. He kept his conversation a secret for some time until he was ready to announce it. Dr. Rakuda used to be a strict man before his conversion. His students thought he was very stern. However, at the time of teaching his Arabic class, he found to be the humblest and kind-hearted man. He cared about his students and paid great attention to their needs. Through his kind and humble persona, he was able to inspire several students who were in his class. They were all greatly impressed with Dr. Rakuda's attitude and realized that the reason behind it was none other than Islam. While studying Islam and Arabic with him, Ten students chose to follow the path of Allah, the path of righteousness. All of this happened because Dr. Rakuda decided to embrace Islam to its fullest. He became an embodiment of a true Muslim. According to him, Islam encourages you to learn and gain more knowledge. Islam encourages you to explore and discover. The Quran gives us basic ideas, but it is up to us 
how we interpret them. Dr. Wakuda is a man of principles, and his principles lie in the framework of Islam. He wishes to become what Allah destined for a good Muslim to be. He wishes to understand the Quran wholly and fully, just like Allah wants. When asked about his favorite part of the Quran, he says it's the word path of righteousness. It not only indicates a path laid out by Allah for Muslims, it also describes the right path for humankind to follow. The deep meaning behind this phrase and its message for the human race makes it so significant in Dr. Rakuda's favorite. He says, if we all follow the path of righteousness, we can come together as a peaceful world. Dr. Ritsuchi Kamal Akuda is an inspiration for all. He has been playing a vital role in spreading the message of Islam in Japan. While the spread of Islam in Japan is slow due to the gap between Islam and Japan for 100 years, he feels Islam will steadily make its place in Japan. Dr. Wakuda inspires people not with his words, but his personality, his actions and his commands. He has submitted himself to Allah completely and wishes to lead a life that will make him happy. Dr. Wakuda feels he has a lot to learn about Islam and this is only the beginning of his journey. His attitude of modesty, kindness and submission to God has made him an entirely different man than he was before. He thinks it's a blessing to have had the chance to embrace Islam in his life and he hopes he can give other people around the same blessing. His persistent yet simple style of educating his peers and students alike about Islam has helped convert many of them to Islam and he hopes to keep being the beacon of hope and light for everyone else around him. Dr. Rakuda's life is a great example of how a kind attitude can do miracles and change the world entirely. Interesting video. I mean, with the, th the way things are moving, I'm sure there's more people converting in Japan than what we know now. Also, I've always, I said this in one of my last videos. If a religion makes you become a better person, then that religion is good for humanity. If it's teaching you to appreciate each person that comes before you, or your neighbors that you don't know, that you don't speak to, or you just respect people in general, that religion is actually good. And if you can um, also realize that we're one people, despite our different skins, made by one God, there is more respect, more fear of actually disrespecting one another and like just thinking you're more superior than the next person to you, which shouldn't be the case. And this, I love how this video was presented. It talks about how he started appreciating people, realized that he was equal to everyone else and not even thinking that he's better than the rest of the people that he thought he was better than through his ego. Otherwise, a big shout out to the person that suggested this, really enjoyed this and thank you, really loved this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, but before you give it a thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll appreciate reading your comments. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.